Uh, yes. Uh, so very uh, warm good evening to one and all present here today uh, for the uh, financial session uh, for doctors on management on their day to day and also managing their finance. Uh, today, I'm really honored to in, uh, invite Mr. Yuvraj Singh Desai, Bitcoin and Technical Analyst. He is involved with share markets since 2004 as an investor. He is a uh, sub broker of yes, Anand and, and Stock Brokers Limited since 2010. Uh, he has been conducting training on various topics like financial business, basis of share market, financial planning, and investment. Uh, he has traveled to different parts of India with a mission of setting literacy among the people. Uh, people okay, boli, all 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 boli, boli Over to you, uh, sir. Hello. Uh, yes. We, yes, doctor. Yeah. Uh, we have the welcome address by uh, Dr. Nivin. And Dr. Jayas Nivin. Uh, Dr. Jayas Nivin, President ISA Trishu. And uh, after that, we'll have a presidential address by Dr. Joy Manila. Okay. So, uh, over to Dr. J uh, J.S. Nivin for the welcome address. Yeah, am I audible? Yeah, yeah. Audible, yeah. audible, yeah, audible, yeah, yeah. audible. Uh, President of IMA, Trishur, Dr. Joy Manila. Uh, senior members of the faculty, honorable senior members of the profession. My dear friends, colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, I'm very happy to present before you, along with IMA, a basic uh, financial management talk for doctors. Uh, today, as we all know, financial fitness along with physical fitness is also very important for us to survive. As doctors and as health professional, for most of us, the monetary benefits or the amount of money what we receive is, uh, you know, uh, is not that high. And uh, we are finding some people are finding it difficult to maintain their family with the uh, income what they are generating. But here today we have a gentleman, Mr. Yuvraj Deshai whom I've heard earlier, ISA has hosted him earlier also. He is one person whom I think you can record on because he will be telling you lots of options for making you financially fit in your career, along with your professional as well as your physical fitness. So I don't want to stand in between uh, Mr. Yuvaraj and you. And so on behalf of ISA Trishur joining together with IMA Trishur. I welcome all of you to this meeting. And Yuraj, once again, welcome to Trishur. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. So uh, now I invite uh, Dr. Uh, Joy Manila, uh, President IMA Trishur, for the presidential address. Thank you, Dr. Arun. Respected. Um, Indian Society of Anesthesiology, Trishur Hithi Branch President Dr. Jay Sneerin, Secretary Dr. Arun Krishna, IMA WWE Chairperson Dr. Sharmala, and today's faculty Dr. Yuraj Singh Ji Deshai, and uh, Matt Piper, Matt Piper, our conductors, Dr. I mean, Ms. Soumya, and other dignitaries on the Zoom. A warm good evening to all, and I welcome you. And I welcome you all to this webinar on basic financial management for doctors. Actually, for us, as far as doctors are concerned, we are very poor in managing our own financial, basic financial management, which includes our managing the day-to-day operations of the business. We don't do business. We make money, we, but we don't know how to save our or how to double our money which we are making from our profession. All these things will be taken, I hope, all these things will be taken care of by Mr. Yuvraj Singh. And we, can, we are all expecting 
and very useful talk from him. And I wish all the best to this program. Thank you. Thank you, madam. Okay. <clears throat> Uh, now I call upon uh, Dr. Sharmila, Chair, uh, uh, IMA WDW Chair, uh, to, uh, to uh, address uh, this Zoom meeting. Chairperson of IMA WDW Trishu, Women's Wing of Trishu. Thank you, Dr. Arun. Am I audible? Yeah. Yeah, thank you. Uh, respected IMA President Dr. Joy Manila, uh, ISA President Dr. J.S. Nevin, Secretary Dr. Arun. Today's speaker, Mr. Yuvraj Singh Deshai, uh, met by Saumia from Medpiper, and all the doctors here. A warm good evening to you all. Again, IMA WDW joins hands with ISA to bring you a discussion on a relevant topic. We were taught many subjects in school and college, physics, chemistry, biology, and all. And then we were asked to join a vocation, and then we were asked to man manage our finances on our own. Many doctors are unaware as to how we manage our finances. I am sure most of the lady doctors here, at least I do, hand over our income to our husbands and ask them to manage it while we keep our fingers crossed that they do a good job. It's time we became aware of how to go about it. So this webinar is going to be leading us towards managing our finances better. Once again, a, uh, a good evening and uh, we welcome you on behalf of WDW. Thank you. Over to you, Dr. Aaron. Now I invite uh, Ms. Saumia, um, uh, Medpaper Technology, uh, to give an introduction to the speaker. Doctor, I completed the speaker introduction first. Okay, okay. Uh, uh, you can just... Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, thank you for giving me the opportunity, Doctor. So, I just uh, give a brief about our speaker for the day, Dr. Yuraj Singh Desai. Uh, uh, Mr. Duraj Singh Desai. He is involved with share market uh, since 2004 as an investor. He is a sub broker of Anand Zati Shares and Stock Brokers Limited since 2010. Uh, he has been conducting training on various topics like share market, financial planning, and investment. He has traveled to different parts of India with the mission of spreading financial literacy among people from all walks of life. Over to you. So over to you, Dr. Yurat. You can start now. Okay, sir. Am I audible, sir? Yeah, yeah, you're audible. So first of all, I would like to personally thank Dr. Arun because if this journey is starting from where it was stopped in 2019, sir. It's upon 2019 where you invited me and from there, because of these two years of COVID, we had put a pause for all these activities, but very happy that again, these activities are starting. So I personally thank Dr. Arun, Dr. Neveen, whom we met personally during that visit. So shall I start the session, sir? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. Sir. So we start with the first slide, sir. <clears throat> sir, all of us, attending this lecture, wherever with the location, all of us are basically Indians. So first I would discuss the Indian habits regarding this. So as far as Indian habits are concerned or Indian people are concerned, Indian population is concerned, everywhere in the world, now our Indian presence, see Indian population is our one of the biggest human, our human resource, is one of the biggest human resources. And now our presence is throughout all the different continents of the world. So as far as Indians are concerned, wherever Indians are in any country, any continent, or maybe in India or abroad, Indians are very good earners of money, sir. When it comes to earning, Indians are very good earners of money. They know to earn money officially by working hard, and to some extent unofficially also, but Indians are good or champions in money earning. So that is the first thing that Indians are very good earners of money. Second, by virtue or by habit or since birth, we are given a uh, lesson in our uh, house itself that always save the money what you get. 
so we have piggy banks we had piggy banks in our houses the shape the size of the piggy bank is changing but the habit still continues so as far as indians are concerned we are good earners of money we are very good savers of money but the problem or the reason for such type of sessions start from this that when it comes to investing this money we are earning we are saving but when it comes to investing this money uh, what we save we are poor and the root cause for this is very simple which i will which i will share in this lecture sir see that is the financial literacy ratio now what is the financial literacy ratio it is the ratio or it is a barometer to gauge the knowledge of financial products in the working population of any country so when it when we when it comes to financial literacy ratio we compare see sir we compare all the good things with us uk and then we come to india so the financial literacy ratio basically in the us it's 58% in the uk it is 72% but in india it is only 26% the main reason for the difference of this ratio is very simple and crystal clear that basic financial knowledge is taught to them in the schools itself i repeat in the schools itself but when it comes to indian schooling it may be any board a state board or any any different type of many different boards operate schools in india but it is said that we are not our students or our uh, child children are not taught about the financial literacy ratio in our country and so this ratio is quite low or down as compared to the developed or other countries so long back i realized this and that was the starting point for conducting such type of lectures and i'm i'm doing this for so many years even today's lecture i am trying to increase some financial literacy among my countrymen this is the basic or the very basic purpose of conducting such type of lectures so that was the starting or the reason for conducting such type of lectures so we continue with the next slide <coughs> now the sir one common thing where uh, everywhere you see is cagr that is compounded annual growth rate sir <clears throat> this we have learned directly or simply in school or in the mathematics subject that is simple interest and compound interest the same thing they are the real brothers that is simple returns and compound returns now for simple returns you can see that when the principal of rupees 100 is invested and if you get a return of 10% it becomes 110 at the end of the year the second year again you get rupees 10 at the end of the year the third year again you get this so basically it's very clear that in simple returns the principal the returns are calculated on the original principal always they are calculated on the original principal but when it comes to compounding but when it comes to compounding the story is different for the first year it is the same for the first year is there is no difference but from the second year the principal 100 rupees and 10 rupees interest added to it that is 110 rupees becomes your principal at the beginning of the second year so that makes that difference for the third year same procedure keeps on repeating so in a long run this compounding returns make that big difference to make it very very simple after understanding this slide or after knowing this slide always ask a question to whomsoever with with whom you are discussing the returns on your investment that the percentage is simple returns or compounded returns because compounding is also considered to be the eighth 
wonder of the world it may changes the returns to a drastical or an exponential return can be generated only if it is a compounding return and not the simple returns so have you uh, any questions regarding this you can ask sir we can take the questions at the end yeah. okay okay at the end okay sir cool. so we continue the next slide sir now it is inflation <laughs> this word you are you will be listening everywhere you are reading everywhere inflation inflation and inflation because in the current world scenario because of the war between euro in the europe or the inflation has simply bursted in a our neighboring country sri lanka so inflation inflation and inflation is very common so now basically what is inflation it is the rate at which the prices of commodity increase in a country and now why inflation is it the two for in inflation in any country or in the world there are two basic reasons first reason is the ever increasing population of the world first is the ever increasing population of the world and second increase in demand for all the products or maximum products this is these are the two reasons so increasing population and increasing demand for all the goods and services is the main or root cause for inflation so now in india in the last 30 years it is 6 to 7% basically in this lecture also in this session also we will try to cover two or three types of inflation but the inflation which we are discussing in this slide is the basic inflation now basic inflation is the cost of goods or, or in simple very simple words the cost of essential goods that is cost of food articles milk vegetables all the necessities are essential commodities we are talking about that so in the last 30 years inflation in india is increasing at 6 to 7% and in the next 30 years it is expected to remain the same now why do i say like that the simple reason is for our country india as far as india is concerned we are a mixed economy of white and black you understand white is all the tax paid money and black is all the unaccounted or un non tax income generated by people so whatever the government does government takes a lot of steps to control inflation in the last 30 years or last 40 years but the effect are not seen because we are a economy where 50% is almost white and 50% is black money and so the effects get nullified and you cannot expect in a country like india that everything will become very clear very white very properly taxed if it becomes it would be a very big boon but such things we cannot expect in this country so i tell you that the inflation in the last 30 years is 6 to 7% and in the next 30 years also we have to expect the same now let's take a simple chart to understand this that is on the left side we have say taken the years we have taken the gap of 10 years you can see we are in the center of the table that is 2022 10 years back 20 years back and 20 years uh, in future that is 2032 and 42 now you just first see the amount what i have written by the side of 2022 that is the amount is 34000 and before, to understand it better please read the note written below that is this amount indicates the monthly expenses of a basic household for cost of living for family of four members means anywhere in the country you are this is the minimum expense you may be incurring for a member for your members for family members living with you this does not include medical expenses this does not include education expenses this does not include luxury shopping or something this is just the basic things the cost of survival in simple words now you can see the trend that by 6 to 7% inflation the chart indicates that every 10 years you require double the money to maintain the same standard of living 
So it was 8,500, then it became 17,000. Currently it is 34,000. And at this rate, we would require 68,000 in the next 10 years and 136,000 in the next 20, after next 20, after 20 years. To maintain the same standard of living, no addition in the family members or no addition in the lifestyle to maintain the same. So this is the basic inflation thing you have to consider. So for you, we have seen CAGR and inflation, which are very, very important to be understood before understanding any investment or any return. We'll continue the next slide. Now it is investment and the effective returns. See, the purpose of any investment in any asset class is to get a good return with capital safety. In simple words, risk and return go hand in hand. More the risk, more the return, less the risk, less the return. So if you don't take any risk, there is no return. So the thing is, the return depends on the risk involved in that asset. But of course, we have to maintain a balance between the returns and the capital safety. The main purpose is to get returns, but not at the cost of your capital. If your capital gets eroded, the whole purpose of investment gets defeated. Now here, the second thing is whatever, wherever you invest legally, means all the government approved financial products, there is a tax applicable. So whatever returns are generated, first of all, you have to subtract the tax applicable. Then the effective returns are to be calculated. The effective returns is what? That whatever residue or remains after subtracting the tax should be directly compared with the inflation. To make this simple, I have drawn this chart. For the table, you can see that if one lakh rupees is invested for one year in a bank deposit, you get at the, at the current in the current scenario, you get five thousand or five percent interest. So five thousand rupees you will get as interest at the end of the first year. Now tax applicable is 10%. Again, I repeat, this is for the lowest tax lab. I think the doctors or many doctors present in this session will be in the higher tax labs. They will be in the biggest tax labs also. But I am just taking a simple thing, assuming that it is the lowest tax lab. So it is, if it is lowest, it is 10%. So 5%, uh, 10%, so 500 rupees will be deducted. And effective returns is the return minus the tax. Effective return is 4,500, which comes to 4.5% only. So investment in fixed deposits is an investment, but Investment in fixed deposits is an investment, but it is not a pure investment. I repeat, it is not a pure investment for the only reason the effective return is not beating the inflation. If this process continues for two or five or seven years, you will be poorer and poorer even after investing. That should not be the case. So I tell it, it is an investment, but not a pure investment. We continue with the next slide. In the next slide, this slide, we have to see the investments that do not beat the inflation. Now you understand inflation and inflation is six to 7% average, which, is, which, is, uh, which prevails in this country for last 30 years. So money invested in fixed deposit, that is FD, then money invested in bank recurring deposit. Recurring deposit is you fix an amount, you fix a date, and the money is deducted from your account and keeps on accumulating for a predefined period, that is RD. Then the favorite product, one of the favorite products is PPF, that is public provident fund. Then there are different type of bonds, 
and the most common common and common product in which people invest in india is insurance policies so this is the list of financial products which are investments but they are not pure investments because they do not beat the inflation regularly the only thing is you can see the footnote at the end of the slide the average returns from this product is only 5 to 8% per year and hence they do not beat the inflation you are invested you get returns but it is not the real effective returns are not beating the inflation so these are not pure investments they are only investments so again now you would think that this uh, person is talking about inflation and this non uh, other investments so then which are the investments which actually beat the inflation or which beat or which are pure investments so for that we see the next slide now this is the asset mix for pure investments here you can see the four columns the tabular form so first we will check the headings that is the asset class then the percentage of return per year minimum period for investment or the minimum time horizon for investment and then it is the composition so first investment which beats the inflation regularly is the gold that is the bullion now when we when we talk about bullion it is coins bars and biscuits of gold and not the jewelry i repeat it is coins biscuits and bars of gold with 24 karat triple nine purity and not the jewelry so that is jewelry is for using but for investment you have to invest in gold in the bullion form there you can expect a return of 9 to 15% now 9% is because gold as a traditional feature gold always beats the inflation by plus 2% so if your investment in, uh, of your if your in, inflation is 7% the returns in gold will be 9% if you trade a bit in gold if you buy it sell at regular intervals with small gaps even you can reach a target of 15% so but if that is not compulsory but just by holding it you can generate means you generate or get a 9% return now the most important column is the third column whenever you invest in gold or bullion the money invested investment value irrespective of the investment value your time horizon should be 3 years your time horizon should be 3 years if it is not 3 years please don't invest in bullion also then the composition is from the uh, composition we will take it later the second asset class is the real estate real estate and the bracket it is mmrda that is the mumbai metropolitan regional development authority now the purpose of taking this region or this uh, the return uh, region is there are two purposes basically i myself belong to mumbai but that is not the reason that why i have taken this you might be aware that mumbai real estate market or the mmr real estate market is the costliest real estate markets in india and it is also also the sixth costliest real estate markets in the world so being the costliest real estate markets in india we have to track this so if an investment is made in the mmr region in the real estate sector you can expect a return of 15 to 18% per year of course uh, per year and then the main thing again the main thing your time horizon should be minimum 5 years you may take a loan or you may put your own money that is different story but the minimum time horizon is very very important before entering or thinking of any investment so for that we consider it 5% 5 years sorry then it is the equity and equity mutual funds now in simple words there is only one difference between the equity and the equity mutual fund you driving your own car is direct equity 
and you traveling by the government bus government uh, transport vehicle is equity mutual fund highway is same the travel distance is same the road is same but the difference is in the acumen of or the knowledge so the better option if you are comfortable with direct equity it is best but if you don't have a time or if you are not comfortable equity mutual funds are also a very good option available in the country for now for so many years now the returns what we are talking here is 18 to 27% i just repeat these returns are for the pure investments you have taken the heading pure investments these investments are beating the inflation very clearly so 18 to 27% returns can be generated through the equity mutual funds or equity by trading in or investing in good front line companies because if you talk about the top 50 companies of the country that is the nifty 50 company they are popularly known the 52 week or the yearly high and low in those company is nearly 18 to 27% you can check it so that was the reason or that is the reason that this returns also can be generated but again whenever you are going to invest in an equity or equity mutual fund the time horizon should be 5 years not less than 5 years because market is always moves in cycles you never know when the cycle changes so 5 years is a bare minimum thing and now the last column that is the composition suppose a person or a doctor is of 35 years of age and has started saving and wants to invest in different asset classes this is just an ident this is an ideal composition that is the total money suppose we take a simple whatever with the money it should be divided 20% should go to gold capital gold or bullion investing 20% can be invested through the emi route or in small portions in the real estate and 60% can be should be invested in equity or equity mutual funds so these are the investments which are pure investments the earlier slide we saw where the they were investments but they were not pure investments because they were not beating the inflation and this slide shows you and the main important i repeat don't get lured by the returns please always concentrate on the time period that is the minimum time period if you disobey or uh, ignore this time period you can you it would it would be very difficult for you to earn money even in this asset classes so if you understand that this is the time frame i hope i am able to communicate if some problem you can write in the chat box i if i hope i am communicating if we problem yeah. you can write in the chat box okay okay huh? okay so this was the pure investment chart now the thing is if we understand that these are the uh, this is the minimum time requirement then what should be done before investing in this type of assets so that this time investment can be honored for that things we will continue the next slides the so first slide next slide is we'll continue with the next slide for that so medical insurance now for doctors i need not explain the medical thing in detail but of course i have to explain the medical insurance in detail sir it is the first basic thing you should do before investing that is medical insurance is compulsory for all members of the family for your knowledge for the knowledge of the participants minimum 91 days are required for a baby or a child to take a medical insurance policy once the newborn baby is 91 days old medical policy can be availed and by and in, in the current scenario there is no upper limit for taking a new medical insurance policy even policies nowadays are available for senior citizens from uh, or 
for any age group the policy is available of course the premiums vary with the age directly but policies are available so medical insurance is compulsory for all the family members because in case of medical emergency the financial there is a financial trauma which the family faces even a doctor's family may face a financial trauma so this is important for everybody now medical inflation in india is increasing at 12 to 14% per annum this is the basic cost of medicines the basic cost of pathology the doctors fees and all the different things because inflation affects everybody in everywhere so medical inflation is increasing at all the, almost double the rate the food inflation so it's 12 to 14% so a very simple solution for it is minimum cover what we suggest is minimum cover should be 25 lakhs per person per year now you see the amount 25 lakhs the first question comes in your mind is what would be the premium to simplify i've written there say annual premium for a person age 30 years suppose the age of the person is 30 years and wants to take a 25 lakh policy medical insurance policy the premium won't be more than rupees 10000 per year i repeat for a policy of 25 lakhs the premium won't be more than 10000 rupees per year for the age group of 30 years of course for lower level age groups it would be naturally it will be less the biggest advantage is <clears throat> premium paid for medical insurance can be claimed in your for your tax saving purpose one of the big advantage you a tax saving i would tell you uh, means three ways you pay the medical insurance premium you can claim in tax you pay the medical insurance premium for your own family that is husband wife children you can claim in tax and again there is a additional limit available for the last four years if you are paying the medical insurance premium of your parents i repeat for your of your parents or even in laws and if they are senior citizens that also can be claimed separately so this is the big benefit you can get double benefit you are you can claim it in tax also and it is important for you also so 25 lakhs is the thing because smaller policies or policies with less value are will not get proper medical claim money in case of claims they will get less money no money or naturally they have to Uh, participate in the expense so if you want a good return in case of medical emergency your policy value should be very good so this is the recommendation and if after that no medical insurance or under medical insurance is less poly policy of low, lower values can be highly dangerous to your financial health in case of medical emergency you will sell the asset what you have and you will incur a loss and all the problems start 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 so please avoid that so before investing please invest i would tell not spend but invest properly in your medical insurance policies we'll continue with the next slide that is the term plan now term plan is the pure insurance see the term plan is a pure insurance means it is compulsory for the income earner of the family what happens see the person earning a income at least 2 to 4 people are dependent on him or her for the survival so term plan is compulsory for the income earner of the family now here the logic is minimum cover ratio what should be the value of the policy i am talking that is minimum cover ratio is your annual income multiplied by 20 times in the example you have written if you are getting a salary or income of 15 lakhs per annum you should multiply it with 20 so the answer is 3 cr that is 3 crores now please try to understand the logic behind this it's very important it's very important because suppose a person is having this type of policy a 3 cr policy with an income of 15 lakhs and the person is no more in this world 
the first thing the claim will be received by the nominee or the family members that is the amount is 3 cr 3 crore or 3 crores the family is not financially literate and they are in a trauma because of the loss of the main earning member of the family in such a situation if this 3 cr is kept with a good standard bank just in a bank fd interest of 5% will take care of the income interest of 5% which is the prevailing rate will take care of the income so this is the thing or the proper thing i this is the logic behind this is the logic behind telling you the 20 times multiplier if the term plan is there amounts are small the family will get some money but they will they will be still financially they will not be financially independent they will be dependents so i tell this 20 percent logic 20 times logic now see for that also i am showing you some indicative figures annual premium in a term plan policy for 30 years for a person of 30 years will not be more than rupees 50000 please try to understand a doctor of 30 years of age takes a term plan of 3 cr assuming the income of rupees 15 lakhs per year if he or she is taking a policy for 30 years up to means 30 60 years of age up to 60 years of her age the annual premium will not be more than rupees 50000 so this is the maximum premium or the costliest of premium in the country there are far less options available also again claim would be very useful in the case of the death of the income earner because see loss of life cannot be compensated but loss of income has to be compensated now if you are taking a term plan always think that if you are taking a term plan one pure or good term plan for the family if you have liabilities on your head like home loan business loan or some other loans you should take some small different term plans for setting off that liabilities because if this thing is not considered the money will be received the claim will be received but the uh, corpus will be used for settling the home loan the professional loan etc so ultimately the family has to suffer again they will not be financially independent so this is the thing the biggest advantage of term plan is premium paid for term plan also can be used in tax saving for tax saving purposes so again you are saving tax also and providing that big security or safety for your loved near and dear ones now this is an interesting point last sentence what your written is in india i travel a lot for this type of lectures and people tell sir if we take this policy we we'll pay this premium for so many years but if we are not dying if we are alive the money will be gone the money will be gone that is a very wrong thing so for so, so, so i have a solution for it if you are taking a term plan also hedge your premium so you get all the premium back at the end of the tenure now how to hedge it we have taken in the further slides so term plan first was the medical insurance for all the family members second is the term plan for the bread earners of the family if husband and wife both are working income is depending both should take them now next slides <laughs> critical illness now critical illness is first see the third slide uh, third list uh, the third point there are major diseases and you being the medicos can understand better that what is the what the list contains this type of diseases if they are they occur what happens the person is not in a state to work especially professionals like you it would be very difficult to work so for to safe to get a safety in such situations we recommend a critical illness cover it will help if this type of diseases are diagnosed and the amount of that critical illness policy is paid lump sum or at one stroke to the policy holder now this is important part 
critical illness policies are available separately in the market also but please avoid those policies because those are very costly and the premium also regularly increases on those type of policies with your age so simple suggestion to become uh, to safeguard this is you should take critical illness rider with your term plan the advantage is the premium gets locked for the whole tenure and if a critical illness is diagnosed that critical illness security amount is paid to you to fight that life threatening disease now also it takes care of your expenses for 2 to 5 years of your life so the suggestion is you should take critical illness with your term plan as a rider next now all of next slide all of you are are doctors professionals so professional indemnity insurance now sir being a professional there are people or there may be incidents where you are claims are put or you have to face some financial big amount of financial claims so to protect yourself to protect yourself from this please take a proper indemnity insurance now what happens if there is a proper indemnity insurance in case of claim you are you can get uh, help as well as financial assist assistance from the insurance company it covers the settlements losses legal charges and in such situations even there is a legal battle still your profession is up you are running normal and you can continue with your regular activities because that is very important for everybody or especially for doctors because once your mental state is disturbed you won't be in a position to work very efficient now the next slide we are recommending the value of your professional indemnity insurance what should be the value for specializations and the cover we have specifically prepared a table for dentists it can be up to 15 to 25 lakhs with family physicians 25 to 50 lakhs consulting physicians non surgical branches and the anesthetist who is again the co organizer of this event it should be rupees 50 lakh to 1 crore and for all the surgical fields or surgical specialization it should be from rupees 1 to 3 crore this is the annual cover which we are recommend and the policy which we recommend is the such a policy which should not have a sub limit in claims it should not have a sub limit in claims if it is having a sub limit in claims the premium will be less but that won't help you or actually help you during difficulties so go for a policy of this type of values with no internal sub limits for more details we can you can contact me or we can talk it later but this is this uh, policy values should not be compromised because in nowadays the claims are also huge everything is progressing so even the claims are progress so in uh, so we, we are suggesting such type of policy values for professional indemnity next next now you have law, uh, hmm? 10 minute pane me chal to reserve hai start hai mujhe now you have learned uh, you know mutual funds now it's a very common word throughout the country mutual fund mutual fund but now this is the mutual fund time fund uh, which is very important when it should be understood understood thoroughly before investing a single rupee in mutual funds for that you see the slide from right to left not from left to right please see the right corner right uh, end of the table first decide the investment time horizon what is the time horizon that is one day to three years is it three years to five years or is it five years and above first decide the time horizon first define the time horizon and 
then come to the next left part that is the returns you can get depending on your time horizon naturally more time you invest more returns can be generated this is a simple thumb rule for mutual funds and the last or the left corner is the type of fund which suits you according to your time horizon if your time horizon is just up to 3 years from one day to 3 years it should be compulsorily done in a liquid or a debt fund for 3 to 5 years it is hybrid or balanced they are one and the same two name from the same product so it should be done in that and if your time horizon is more than 5 years only then think of a equity mutual fund maximum people in india lose i repeat maximum people in india lose money even in mutual funds because they don't follow this simple time rule ignoring the time rule can lead to a loss even after investing in mutual funds so the punch line of the the note of the slide time horizon should be given utmost importance before investing any amount in mutual funds this is a time fund of your mutual funds tested over years and years so please follow this before investing a single hard earned rupee in mutual funds now we will see some mutual fund good applications of mutual funds for that <clears throat> next sir please name like slide of questions are 25 now huh application of mutual funds now see maximum participants in this lecture are paying tax so now how mutual fund can help help you in saving smart tax first see the left table there are the, uh, there are the products the ppfs the bonds the tax saving fds and there are then there are the tax saving mutual funds which are also known as elss it is equity linked saving schemes the second column is giving you the returns and the third column in is giving you the lock in period i hope you understand the lock in period but just to elaborate lock in period is the period in which in some cases some withdrawals are allowed but the full money or the full amount and the returns cannot be withdrawn before the completion of the period so in ppf it is 15 years bonds it's 8 years bank so say tax saving bank fds it's 5 years bank fds normal normal bank fds can be redeemed but if it is a tax saving bank fd it is having a, it will have a lock in of 5 years please understand and the last is the tax saving mutual fund is also having a lock in but only they, it is having a lock in of only 3 years so the table clearly indicates that the returns are maximum and the lock in is minimum in the elss or the tax saving mutual fund category so now see the right side right table mr a and b invested rupees 1.5 lakh every year for 15 years i repeat in ppf 15 years is the lock in period in elss 3 years is the lock in period but we are taking the example at parity that both of them have invested the same amount for the same period only the products are different only the products are different so see the difference in the returns or the corpus at the end of 15 years mr a will get 42 lakhs for the 22.5 invested because the rate of return is 7 to 8% but at the same time mr b where the return is 15% cagr he can get he will is entitled to get 82 lakhs now please don't go by the figures please try to understand analyze yourself in terms of percentage same amount of investment same period of investment but the returns are almost nearly double if not double 90% more 
and so it is known as the smart tech saving product and i hope everybody attending this lecture is using a smartphone so all of us are smart so please always think twice before selecting a tech saving product next slide sir <clears throat> now this is a very common question we have asked everywhere that what to do about children and how mutual funds can help for children uh, child care assuming the age of the child is less than 1 year just a new one baby up to 1 year of age the table is self explanatory for education purpose you can start an sip that is systematic investment plan in an equity mutual fund for 18 years your investment will be 10.8 lakhs your investment from your own pocket and you can expect a returns of almost 65 lakh rupees for the education purpose at 18 years of age now why 18 years of age is taken because generally as per the current education policies and system 18 years is the age where 18 years is the age where uh, the person reaches the degree college completion of 12th standard and selection of the degree course starts there and 25 is considered to be a okay marriage age may it be a boy child or a girl child so if other 5000 is started an sip is started for marriage purpose you can generate up to 2.4 cr for the marriage purpose also now this these are the figures returns are uh, quite indicative you can change the amount of investment according to your corpus needs you can change the investment amounts according to the corpus needs so this was about the child care part sir next slide sir now sir this is the very important slide because what i told you earlier is hedge and hedge is a practice or a system where you get the money back Now everybody loves to get the money back which is spent. Please concentrate on the left side of the screen. Home loan recovery or home loan EMI recovery. In India, in the current scenario, every fourth person, twenty-five percent, more than twenty-five percent of the Indian population, especially the urban population, has availed home loans of different values. Now, how to get the all the money back which you pay for emis this is the hedge for emis see home we take a simple example here home loan value is 10 lakh rupees and the home loan tenure is 20 years so the emi value will be 10000 actually it is not 10000 less than 10000 but we have taken the maximum amount so emi value of 20 10000 and if you pay this 10000 for 20 years what will be the scenario you will end up paying 24 lakhs you will end up paying 24 lakhs but how to handle this home loan with a hedge purpose you should invest rupees 1000 in an sip in an equity mutual fund once you start your emi once you start your paying your emi see e payment of emi is mandatory and this is purely voluntary but if you do it voluntary you will earn lot of money please try to understand you if you start a sip of rupees 1000 with your emi payments you will invest rupees 2 lakh 40000 for 20 in the period of 20 years what will be the emi what will be the mutual fund corpus at the end of the loan tenure it will be almost rupees 19 to 24 lakhs it will be rupees 19 to 24 lakhs it is simple please try to understand in this you have to continue with your home loan for full tenure that is 20 years you have to continue with your emi for the full 20 years the biggest mistake the indians make in this country are 
people pay more amounts more amounts extra money more money extra money for the over and above the emis all india home loan repayment average is 12.5 years so actually what happens you become loan free but you have paid more and used less don't do that we keep on paying your emi regularly and keep on investing regularly and at the end of 20 years this corpus will give you all the money the principal and interest back one more option in this uh, in this facility is if you start your emi and if you start your sip together after 12 years means from after 12 years between 12 to 14th year of this process your outstanding home loan and the mutual fund corpus will be same so that can be the first call you can take you can withdraw all the mutual fund money and clear your home loans that is the first option a better option but not the best option the best option is continue both for the full tenure and get all 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 the money back and enjoy life now the right slide right side of the slide i have talk on we have taken the example for term plan in term plan you don't get a single rupee back if you are alive or available and that is the reason it is one of the cheapest it is the cheapest policies in india but nobody is interested in promoting or selling this but you should go for a term plan and only in term plan so now we are taking this example that in a 30 year person taking a 3 cr term plan the annual premium is 50000 so in a period of 30 years the person will pay rupees 15 lakhs i repeat he will he or she will pay rupees 15 lakhs totally in a period of 30 years now how to get this rupees paid 15 lakh rupees paid back it's very very simple just invest rupees 25000 just invest rupees 25000 that is 50% of your premium value once in an equity mutual fund just invest rupees 25000 once in an equity mutual fund and just continue with your term plan at the end of the tenure you will get your 16 lakh rupees back which you paid in small parts in the period of 30 years so ultimately it is your total premium recovery that is the fun that is the beauty of the hedge and don't under and please try to understand this type of hedge are applicable or available for all the different age groups different products many things so this is how you can get your term plan money back through hedge other uh, this is the this was the thing now <clears throat> next thing. now was completing the session but one or two important things to conclude the biggest limiting factor today for today's session was the time factor if you understand what we just discussed in the last 40 45 minutes is a trailer is just a trailer of the whole movie otherwise if we have a good time good session time a lot of things and more lot of more things with details and plus a detailed explanation of this steps also can be explained to you so that was the thing so now this time so that was the thing now these are my contact details you can see them on the screen Now these are the contact details. 
my name my cell number and the whatsapp number are same and my email id <clears throat> then next slide sir we'll thank to uh, we thank the organizers the isa trishur city branch and the ima wdv trishur branch for the giving me the opportunity to share my views with you today evening next slide sir hmm? अरे सर मैं बधु समझ पड़े मैं आगे बढ़ा पे थैंक यू एस्टीम डॉक्टर्स फॉर योर पार्टिसिपेशन अरुण सर अरुण सर एम ऑडिबल सर सो दिस वाज द थिंग नाउ नाउ यू टोल्ड दैट वी कैन टेक सम क्वेश्चन आंसर्स सो इज इट पॉसिबल इफ यू टाइम परमिट्स या 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 Sonia, uh, can you read out the questions in the chat box? Sure, doctor. Yeah. Uh, you know, sir. Uh, someone is asking about a national pension scheme. Uh, can you? just enlighten uh, us on the sip investment into national pension scheme the national pension scheme is a complex scheme because of three reasons it is having it is uh, it will uh, means it is not for pan india it is not the same it is for tier 1 cities metro cities it is different for tier 2 tier 3 cities it is different it comes with a very very big or a very long lock in period and the worst part is it does not beat the inflation so i am totally against this it is not actually viable or a good product for from retirement point of view okay uh, so uh, yeah. uh, uh, can i read out the next question doctor yeah yes sir yeah uh, so the next question is from uh, saji uh, any specific investment option for senior citizens senior citizens yes sir hmm. the senior citizens actually first the profile is to be seen that what is the corpus and what is the purpose and on that some products can be suggested randomly it cannot be done because senior citizens the risk is the profile is to be studied actually general product cannot be suggested for a senior citizen because he or she is a senior citizen the answer itself is that <laughs> but there are there are ways there are ways uh, means i as per the profile good regular in, means if the question is indirectly that the he or she uh, the senior citizen wants to earn a regular income there are many simple and good ways available so that can be profile can be studied and suggestions can be given but randomly it cannot be given the only limitation factors are uh, actually there is a disclaimer uh, uh, we are not promoting any uh, mutual funds or uh, yes, yes. Uh, or any 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 other uh, uh, any product private private funds in yeah any yes. products in this uh, uh, yes. this webinar because this is uh, done by uh, ima and uh, indian society of anesthesia mm -hmm. so uh, if you want to have a, a detailed discussion uh, with uh, your, uh, your your own uh, your, your own portfolio uh, you can contact uh, mr yuva singh for that uh, <clears throat> so uh, another question is uh, can we start mutual fund in the name of a child of one year one year yes sir. yes yeah yes and uh, uh, the, uh, i'm reminding all the participants that uh, uh, you can register for the uh, participation certificate uh, provided in the chat box link so if you have not registered for the participation certificate please do at this and at onset uh, i would like to uh invite uh, dr joy manila 
to speak upon the some of the ima schemes like ima uh, indian medical association uh, social security scheme and uh, pro, uh, professional protection scheme and ima health scheme also uh, joy sir joy sir yes <coughs> ima kerala state has got lot of schemes to protect the doctors and their families <clears throat> we have got a scheme known as social security scheme 1 2 the indian the purpose of this scheme is to in case of an untoward happening there in the way on way of an accident that the those who are joined in this scheme will get a benefit the scheme, social security scheme one is for the doctors who are below 50 years can join and social security scheme two doctors above 50 years and between the age of 60 years and scheme three is for 60 to 65 years of age those who are joined in scheme 1 they have to give a fraternity amount this is not an insurance company we are helping our doctors family who passed away in the early stage of their life to do some unlike incidents like accidents or <clears throat> malignant and disease or something like that for that we will take an amount i mean yearly amount there is an a registration fee which is some amount i don't remember the exact amount but yearly yearly fraternity amount is calculated upon the total number of deaths of doctors per year who are in this scheme okay. into some amount fixed amount i think 200 rupees or something like that so now it it comes about around <clears throat> 18 lakhs those who have completed 10 years of membership those who have completed below 5 years they will get 50% of this 18 lakhs and those who have completed between 5 and 10 lakh 10 years they will get 75% this is structured one same way all the schemes are working so all together now we, those who have joined Even if a 35-year-old doctor can join all the three schemes, but uh, in the scheme one, if he completes 25 years, after that he did not pay anything. He becomes a honorary member. He don't have to pay anything, and uh, at the demise, his nominee will get the full amount. Now we have brought in another amendment saying that in case of any permanent disability. and if he is comes in front of a medical board he can get 50% of the fraternity amount and the remaining 50% will be put in the fd and at that at his demise it will be given to his nominee so that is also there so in that way we will help help our doctors i mean our doctors families that and we have got a health scheme also that is it works like that you know mm, one year lock in period is there we will pay fixed amount in the yearly and 80 per 80 percent of their hospital bills will be repaid but with a limit of uh, 5 lakhs per year like that because like insurance companies we cannot give ma- unlimited amount because in our the membership is only 40000 our membership and the health scheme membership only 20000 so we have to collect that money from this 20000 number like that all the schemes we have got a pension scheme we have got, we have got a professional disability scheme all these schemes are working in a particular style a total of 12 schemes are working for IMA Kerala state. No other IMA has got the, these type of schemes. Now Karnataka and some other states are adopt, trying to adopt those schemes. 
So IMA is helping our doctors and their families and their health also. Oh, you you got in some you got some idea, Mr. Yeah, yeah. So uh, uh, you're saying. Uh, and yes, another sir. question is, uh, what is your advice on a five-year tax saving uh, in a post office FD? So that's okay. Five-year tax uh, post office FD is okay. Okay. And because lock -in, I would suggest uh, support that product because the lock-in is only five years. Okay. okay. Long lock-in, not advisable. Okay. okay. So uh, another question is, uh, which is uh, which is the best option in mutual fund investing? Like a lump sum amount every year or a small amount every month? Always a small amount every month. Small amount every month. Okay. And one for one for what? One, one more addition, sir. Arun, sir. Yeah, yeah. One more addition, sir. Yeah. Okay. 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 So even if you have a lump sum amount, that should be invested in small fragments. Means in with passage of time, three, six, nine, or twelve installments, it will always give you good returns in a long run. Okay. Suppose somebody is having one lakh twenty thousand, instead of investing that in a lump sum, it should be invested ten thousand for next twelve months. In a long run, would fetch a better return as compared to a lump sum investment. Or safe also. Safe is... also, you, you get all the different NAVs, no, sir. That is the biggest yes. thing. <laughs> because if one, if one system collapses, you are yes. safe because the other is still there, you know. Yes, yes. And sir, this, this, the fluctuations in the market are like the waves in the ocean. Both will never stop. Both will never Don't stop, sir. <laughs> Don't put it or everything in one basket. Put yes, yes. Yes, definitely, definitely. Okay. And one more thing for IMA we are doing, we have got a professional protection scheme. Mm. We will take care of the medical litigations against the doctors. Mm. Now, you told me, you told in your slides, doctors has to, I mean, general practitioners with 25 to 50 lakhs. Now, the new rule is coming that in a, for a magistrate court, he can I mean, this thing up to one crore litigation as fine. And then a high court can put up to 10 crores. 10 crores plus above for the Supreme Court. So 25 to 50 lakhs is nothing in front of court. No. You have to change your, rewrite your slide in that aspect. <laughs> So, uh, Iraj, Iraj Singh, uh, one more question. Uh, yes, sir. You, uh, you have told to uh, invest 20% uh, uh, of uh, your savings into uh, real estate. Yes. Uh, how can be that done? In, like, like, sir, that you have to identify a small uh, house, property, shop, commercial office, or land. Of, uh, and you have to pay regularly according to in that. Means I am talking that uh, the common problem is or the financial problem start when the person is investing all the savings or, in, or all the investments are done in real estate and that too by taking loans. So the problem is real estate is real, it is an illiquid asset and if you are uh, taking a loan and if your income is not stable or if it, uh, you are in a financial drift, that uh, serving that loan becomes a problem. So instead of that, you should identify small investments in real estate se uh, sector and keep on buying them. Even with the help of loan is okay. Small okay. properties, small things. Sir. Okay, okay. And uh, your, uh, what is your opinion regarding ULIP investments? Sir, ULIP is, ULIP is unit link insurance policy, insurance plan. So ULIP in India is super flop because 
neither it serves as a good insurance policy neither it serves as a good investment so i always tell never marry your investments and in, in, insurance keep your insurance separate keep your investment separate the, it, it is a basic structure problem with the product itself you live it is all it provides you insurance also it provides you investments also and, and uh, at the end of the thing both are not properly served, both are not properly catered rather so people are very uh, unhappy with the ulip investments throughout the country they are unhappy okay and uh, another investment is uh, regarding uh, the investments in chips like ksfe yes. chips yes sir it's, it's very common in kerala people yes, invest sir. in uh, chips yes so what is your opinion regarding that so that uh, that i since government is involved the safety of money is there that can be done sir that can be done but the thing is what is what with will you do with that fund whenever you uh, get that fund no see it also you get means earlier or later you get the whole money you know what you invest with some gains what are you doing going to do with the amount that is very important sir it basically is a good product because automatically it use bird to savings you save money to pay the installment am i right sir you say you know yeah, but yeah. what are you going to do with the money what you will get, receive the that big money that is very important yeah yeah uh, actually we uh, we have to find some money if we lose lose our jobs <laughs> also <laughs> <laughs> that's the current situation in uh, india in regarding the doctors <laughs> why sir okay uh, anyone can uh, lose their jobs uh, easily Uh, because the doctor population is increasing day by day okay okay, okay. <laughs> so i think we can wind up the session uh, uh, one doctor is this hand sir dr rangana kulkarni had some questions sir raise your hand sir question was sir hello hello no for investment for the senior citizens only Serious agents, investment type. Uh, yes, now, Georgia Finance, the director go tell you, Georgia Finance, uh, where investing money is Georgia Finance. Uh, that is it is reliable. Georgia, Georgia. In which product Geodet you are investing? Georgia Finance is a uh, Georgia Finance is a financial pro, 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 uh, company, financial service company, finance company. Uh, mutual so funds. Mutual funds. Mutual funds. Okay, sir. Mutual funds, sir. mutual fund okay no but please Are. mutual fund okay but just uh, follow the time fund uh, slide which i showed you select your time horizon first and then invest the money the only thing carries to be taken when mutual fund selection is done geo this is just the route through which you are investing money in mutual fund that is not a problem sir that is no not problem. a problem no problem sir thank you thank you uh, dr rangana kulkarni you are yes, yes. getting over you know don't go for long term investments <laughs> only short term <laughs> I, am, i am i am investing money only i will invest and also i want money at any time i want like that time is thing <laughs> any time <laughs> uh, so in that in that way you should only invest in debt mutual funds if you want money any time only debt will serve the purpose other fund yes. other mutual funds won't serve your purpose no, 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 no. because i know I, the age of rangana you know is my i know you very well uh, because uh, i can't uh, keep the money long but long 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 period long period only i can i can keep money and whenever i want i want my that's all <laughs> uh, uh, can you yeah. uh, can you elaborate on this uh, real estate mutual funds rate mutual funds like that or oh, you're asking yes yes sir the real estate mutual funds are also known as reits that is real estate investment trust these are uh, quite young products in india launched some 3 4 years back the thing is actually when the track record is because for, means for any financial product when the track record is available for more than 5 to 7 years it would be wise to think of investing in it they the criteria are good the scheme specifications are good but ultimately what happens is that 
you you are not getting the ownership of the real estate here sir you are getting the indirect ownership the main owner is the trust so rather than going for that we would suggest directly real estate investments which are possible at quite small sizes ticket sizes it is 3 lakhs 5 lakhs 10 lakhs also so better to invest in own real estate rather than go for this type of things yeah so i think we can wind up uh, 